The pharmaceutical industry does not want you to know about these evidence-based strategies that can dramatically reduce blood sugar spikes, sometimes outperforming medications in clinical trials. The vinegar effect, that's hack number one. Consuming just one tablespoon of any vinegar five to 10 minutes before meals reduces post-meal glucose spikes by 20 to 40%. A 2021 study found the simple intervention was comparable to certain diabetes medications for post-meal glucose control. Now, hack number two, strategic movement. A mere 10 minutes of physical activity right before eating or even gentle walking reduces post-meal glucose by up to 30%. This works because it activates GLUT4 transporters that pull glucose into muscles without requiring any insulin at all. Hack number three. Certain compounds in everyday spices act as natural glucose disposal agents. Clinical trials show that half a teaspoon of cinnamon reduces a meal's glycemic impact by 10 to 30% by mimicking insulin at the cellular level. And hack number four, metabolic timing. Condensing your eating window to eight to 10 hours daily improves insulin sensitivity even without changing food choices. Research published in Cell Metabolism demonstrated that this approach reduced insulin levels by 31% after just two weeks. Heck number five, the thermal advantage I call it. Brief cold exposure activates brown adipose tissue, which clears glucose from the bloodstream. A two minute cold shower, which nobody wants to do, before meals or in the morning can reduce your post-meal glucose by 15% by activating AMP kinase pathway. Hack number six, targeted fiber strategy. Specific soluble fibers like psyllium husk, glucomannan, or beta-glucans create a physical barrier that slows carbohydrate absorption. A meta-analysis of 28 studies found that these specific fibers reduced post-meal glucose by 20 to 35%. And here's metabolic flexibility training. Rather than staying consistently low carb, strategically cycling between higher and lower carbohydrate intake improves your body's glucose processing machinery. And that's, that happens over time. Similar to how interval training outperforms steady state training or cardio. Now these approaches cost pennies compared to medications, yet receive minimal attention in conventional healthcare. What's the most powerful approach? Combining these strategies creates synergistic effects that can transform your metabolic health. Remember, your body has innate internal glucose regulating mechanisms. These hacks simply optimize your natural systems rather than overriding them with pharmaceuticals.